Jeanette Vera and um, I'm 35 and we've been on the road for just over two years. We're going on our third year. And I'm Dennis Vieira, I'm 38 years old and same time as she is. <laughs> I thought that two weeks wasn't long enough of a vacation and that's where it started and we started coming up with ideas. Um, on ways we could extend our vacation time and our travel time and we sort of hatched a few plans and this is the one that seemed to make the most sense for our work and our families and ourselves and we started out really wanting to travel the world of course because if you're gonna dream dream big but um, we thought about it and I guess <laughs> well uh, you know baby steps yeah <laughs> I guess I guess we thought we needed to see more of our own country we had already been to Europe and Central America um, and around a bit and it felt right to see and experience and be a part of our own um, our own country and it's been kind of nice I love taking pictures of neons because it's kind of art and design mm -hmm. and but it's also kind of Americana which I think is is great and I love offbeat kind of roadside attraction stuff and um, I try hot dogs in all the different <laughs> areas we go to so, so I don't know just weird. it's kind of interesting to let the road kind of find you mm -hmm. in a way and show you things that you never knew existed, so. Um, we fund our travels through, like, basically graphic design and website development. And you both are involved in that business together? Yeah. She's yeah. more of the designer, I'm more of the developer, but we work as a team. We tell people we're full-time RVers, and usually they look at us with a question and did you win the lottery and ask if we won the lottery <laughs> or they say well you're not old enough to be retired and we just say no we we work and travel at the same time and so sometimes people go oh like gypsies oh uh it's a 1988 lazy days class c um you know it's <laughs> i don't know what about it i don't know i, I feel so weird don't with the look camera. at the camera look at i know, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> <laughs> tell me why did you select it why what? did we select it um i don't know it just kind of had a cool vintage feel to it you know um it had a cool windows in the back uh -huh. <laughs> the windows like as soon as i walked uh -huh. in and looked back there i was like i could do this we could afford you know? it <laughs> yeah 1988 it's a lot cheaper Class C was a lot cheaper. I don't even think I told them <laughs> until like we actually did it. Um, I don't know. I think you, your mom thought we were crazy, but your dad was like, go for it. Because, you know, he lives in an RV half the year anyway. So my family was like, I don't understand. Do they understand now? <laughs> they understand now, yep. Now that we've visited him a few mm -hmm. times, so. Yeah, I think in the beginning they thought we were going on a road trip and because we had taken road trips before mm -hmm. and they, when we showed up at their house, they said, this is great, we're glad to have you. And then we would leave and they said, when are you coming back? And then we came back the next year and they started to get the idea that we weren't just on um, a short trip, that this is the way we were living. Uh, yeah, when you're going downhill, drop it in second. We burned, we burned up our brakes going down a hill in Yosemite. Came real close to flying off the edge. <laughs> That's my main one. So now we're still alive since we learned that. Sometimes we wish we would have went smaller as far as size, but we're pretty comfortable in 26 feet um, because we can get in, in and out of places. But sometimes we think, oh, 
would have been really great to have um, a small class B. I don't know how we would full time in that, but it feels um, like that would be a great way to um, be minimal. And I think about this often. We've been able to go and see more of our friends and family around the United States more than we did when we had nine to five jobs, but yet we're never, you know, on the right coast at the right time for, you know, whether it's weddings or birthdays or holidays and things like that. It was sort of hard to kick the, you feel like you're on vacation mode, you know, like we didn't get a lot of work done like the first six months, you know, like we were in kind of play and explore mode. And then we, when, when we got to Rhode Island from California and we kind of were at my dad's house for a couple of months, that's when we realized like, okay, we actually have to like get more work done. Like this is life. This is not vacation. You know, so then we started making schedules and that type of stuff. Yeah, you know? so I was saying we need to work this much a week and we need to yeah. let everybody know that we have office time or, or hours when we can't go out and play. Don't be scared because I was scared. And when she first brought this up to me, I was like, how is this even possible? <laughs> how are we going to make money? You know, we need a steady income and all that type of stuff. And, you know, like... I was worst case scenario guy, you know, and now we're starting our third year and it's working out and I would have never thought it'd be possible. So just, you know, don't be afraid to take the risk, really, because I was. And here I am. <laughs>